What is going on everybody? Lou here and today I wanted to talk to you about how to make Fedora more user friendly uh, and more specifically more beginner friendly. You know if you're new to Linux I think most people find themselves probably trying out Ubuntu for their first Linux distribution and that's all well and good. Uh, Ubuntu is not a bad distribution whatsoever. I have used Ubuntu um, for a long time and recently have switched over to Fedora and you know I, I can see how maybe it would be a little bit intimidating switching distributions especially after you get very comfortable with using one particular distribution and learning how their um, package management system works and um, how to tweak the system and I know for me it's all those little things that you know kinda kept me using one distribution and I've been spending a lot of time on Fedora and I think that with a few little tweaks um, you can really make Fedora just as user friendly um, as Ubuntu and it's a great distribution I, I talked about um, a lot of the reasons why I like Fedora specifically Fedora 15 and Fedora 16 which I actually have installed here um, I'm running the Fedora 16 Alpha and um, it's actually really stable and it's a solid system and I'll probably be doing a separate review on um, the Fedora 16 Alpha and a lot of changes that are are coming um, down the way and a lot of exciting things that are on the way so we're going to be looking at a couple of things on how to make Fedora a little bit more user friendly um, so some of the things that we're going to be covering today is multimedia installing a lot of the codecs that you would get on Ubuntu if you were to say install the um, Ubuntu restricted extras package out of the software center or there's that option during setup where you can install um, codecs that are not included on the setup a CD or DVD and so the, these will uh, these little tweaks that we're going to be doing today are going to um, set those up for you as well as get things like flash running and um, some multimedia repository so you can get some um, so you can get those codecs as well as some multimedia applications um, so let's get started now what I actually went ahead and did is <clears throat> because again I'm, I'm installing you know Fedora 15 and I'm, I'm testing out that Fedora 16 Alpha so I'm, ki I'm kind of you know cleaning my system fresh um, every couple of days it seems and um, reloading the operating system I created some shortcuts for myself and I've actually got them in my uh, got them in my Dropbox and one of the things that I have is this little file that I made um, just called it Fedora and these are some of the things that we're going to be doing today so first thing we want to do is get these codecs uh, up and running now if you're on F Fedora 15 um, you can use this and it's called Auto Plus and all of these links for the websites that I have are going to be included in the, um, the description of the video so you can uh, just look right down in the description and kind of follow the links out from there but what Auto Plus is and it, it says it right here it's a simple program to make life easier and quicker for installing and also uninstalling um, much needed extras in Fedora um, the this Auto Plus will always be compatible with the latest two releases of Fedora okay and so right now the most latest uh, release for, for Fedora is Fedora 15 so this is available in 32 and 64 bit versions respectively depending on whatever you're running and some of the things that you can do with this I mean you can install flash you can install the mp3 codex DVD codex so you can watch movies on your computer uh, they have this nice little um, all-in-one kind of feature here where you can install a lot of different codecs all at one time Google Earth you can do themes you can install Skype uh, you got a couple of different scripts here some extra backgrounds light scribe technology virtual box um, Java WinFF um, so Dropbox so you got all sorts of features and you basically just kind of click it and hit OK and it does it all for you so that's really great if you want something automated that you don't really have to think about or keep track of um, Auto Plus is a nice little program what this will also do is it will set up those multimedia repositories we talked about which is RPM Fusion it'll automatically um, set those repos up for you and so you won't have to do that step either so that's this is really a great all-in-one tool um, for you to use now if you're anything like me I like to really be in control 
of everything on my system. Um, so this is a nice little feature, but I really like to control all the packages that get installed. This installs a couple of things I don't necessarily want. Is it going to hurt my system at all? No, but I'm just kind of crazy like that. I just I really like to have control over everything on my system. So instead, what I did was I put together a list of um, codecs that will pretty much get you set up for anything that you're going to need to do on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I set these up here so I can just simply copy and paste these every time I have a fresh install of Fedora and it gets me up and running. Okay, so, to be, but before we get to this point, if you want to do this manually, what you're going to do is you're going to come to rpmfusion.org. Now, RPM Fusion provides software that the Fedora project or Red Hat doesn't want to ship. That software is uh, provided as pre-compiled RPMs for all current Fedora versions and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 and 6. Um, you can use RPM Fusion repositories with tools like YUM and PackageKit. Um, so that's basically what RPM Fusion is. Now, if you want to set RPM Fusion up, it's very easy. If you come to this configuration link here at the top, you can do this um, using your web browser, Firefox, or um, I do it using the command line. So most most people are going to probably use this top one right here, Fedora 13, 14, and 15. All you would do is uh, copy and paste this into a terminal. Now I'm actually on Fedora 16, okay? So this would be considered uh, the Rawhide or uh, experimental branch of Fedora, which eventually becomes the next main release, which in this case would be Fedora 16. So all you do is you're going to copy that and you're going to just paste it into a terminal and you're going to hit enter. It'll ask you for your password, you'll enter your password and I'll set those repositories up and that's it. Now after you actually do that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a sudo yum update. Hit enter and then your password. Of course <laughs> you've got to type your password correctly. There we go. Um, and it's going to update your repositories on your system. And now RPM Fusion is configured and ready to go. Um, what I'll also include in the description are all of these codecs. You've got um, a lot of the multimedia codecs here. I've got codecs so you can watch and view um, DVDs. I've also got the FFmpeg codecs as well. And um, we'll include those down in the description. Um, now Flash, out of the box, Fedora does not come with Flash installed. All right. So what you can do is this is the latest beta. It's um, uh, Flash Player 11 beta, and they have a Linux version. Again, the link will be in the description. All you got to do is download. Uh, if you're on a 64-bit system, download the plugin for 64-bit Linux, which I've already actually gone ahead and done. All right. Easiest thing to do is. Uh, Hit extract, take this file, libflashplayer.so, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this um, to the following directory, okay? But before we do that, you're going to want to sue in uh, su and then type in your password and hit enter. Now this is going to put you in as root. What you're going to do is you're going to copy that file to user lib. 64 Mozilla plugins then hit enter now I actually already have it there so I'm not going to do that after you hit enter I'm um, going to copy that um, library file over there to the Firefox um, plugins folder if you have your browser open just close your browser okay after you close your browser just reopen it once you reopen your browser you're going to be ready to go and watch Flash video. Here I am on my channel. And there's a Flash video right there. Okay, so that will set up Flash on Fedora. And so at this point, you've either used the automated way and gone with Auto Plus and installed all of your codecs. Again, you can actually install Flash using Auto Plus if you'd like as well. Um, Auto Plus doesn't play well for some functions on Fedora 16, so just be wary of that. Um,
but uh, if you set up RPM Fusion manually, if you're going to install the Fedora 16 beta, and you know you make sure you use the right repositories, you're going to be good to go. Um, so at this point, again, you're going to have most most of all of the plugins that you're going to need to play uh, any type of you know music file or uh, watch a DVD or watch most video files you're gonna be set up um, pretty well out of the box just like you would um, in um, Ubuntu now as far as these multimedia uh, plugins as well um, I also encourage you to install VLC um, there's a couple of plugins that VLC and Codex um, that will get installed with VLC okay so um, you know, if you'd like uh, really a full featured list of codecs and plugins, also install VLC with everything. Um, these are just some of the commonly um, installed applications that I usually get going um, once I have a fresh install of, of the OS. So I kind of just put this together. So <clears throat> once I get everything um, set up, I can just kind of copy paste this into the terminal and let it go, and it'll get all this stuff in, um, set up for me. So that's really it. Um, all you're going to need is a couple of different um, little steps to get Fedora very beginner friendly and user friendly. You know, outside of that, there's a couple of things that I probably would suggest installing. One of those things being a um, package manager called Yumex. Um, if you just go to Google and uh, type Yumx and Fedora <clears throat> the very top hit here Yumx extender um, this kinda tells you all about what Yumx is okay think of it if you're used to Ubuntu as like synaptic package manager only not as good <laughs> um, but it's a lot better than what you get out of the box which would be this add remove software not very good in my opinion so if you want something a little bit more beginner friendly again um, I would probably install um, Yum Extender, so uh, that'll help you out with your package management. Uh, it's not too bad; it's it's pretty good, yeah, especially for beginners. I would definitely suggest that. Um, and aside from that, you know, your codecs are installed, and um, you've got a, a little bit of a better package uh, or graphical front end for for Yum. So. Uh, that should get you up and running and going with Fedora. Don't be intimidated, you know. Um, I definitely, if you like the GNOME 3, uh, if you kind of are up in the air as to where Ubuntu is going, give Fedora a try. It's not as bad as you may think to get up and running. And once it is, the performance is very, very good. Uh, again, I'm using this Fedora 16 Alpha, and um, I do have my own kernel that I put together for it. Um, the kernel that I put together is the 3.0.4 which I believe just just fell today and I'm uh, running GNOME 3.1.5 um, there's actually about half of GNOME 3.2 kind of in the beta right now or in this alpha rather uh, at this point and so um, most of what you're going to get is GNOME 3.1.5, but there is some aspects of GNOME 3.2 in here, and it's running really well. Um, definitely nowhere near as buggy as Ubuntu 11.10, and uh, I'm really happy with the performance. And once I got these little tweaks all set up here, it's a really pleasant experience. So I hope this video helped, and uh, if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you can do me a favor, just take a second and give the video a like. It helps me out. It gets my channel um, a little bit more exposure. And as long as people are watching these videos, um, I'm going to make them because I enjoy it and I really want to help people um, learn to feel comfortable on Linux and feel like um, Linux is something that they can use as their primary day-to-day -day operating system. Um, so anyway, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.